Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and today I wanted to talk about how to uh, utilize a resource that oftentimes gets discarded. Uh, here I have a bunch of jars that, that had salsa in them, and you know when you use food from uh, jars or from cans, you never can get all of it out, even if you're scraping it. Um, so what I usually do is I, I save them uh, for when I'm going to be making uh, like a soup or, or possibly rice in this case, and I'll, I'll wash the, uh, the, the remaining food out of the jars and use it as a flavoring uh, and also to, to retain the nutrition. I'm using warm water here because it helps to dissolve the, uh, the food away a little bit better. And uh, I would recommend to use warm water but not use boiling hot water. While that would definitely dissolve things faster, it can also crack the jars if you're not using mason jars. And in this case, you know, this stuff generally is not in mason jars. So... I just shake them around, get as much of it as I can out. I pour that into the pot. You can see there's a little bouillon cube in here. I just have half a bouillon cube because you don't need that much flavor um, because you're getting so much uh, from these jars. And I'm going to give it one more rinse just to get the last of the food out. Now, again, this is utilizing a resource that oftentimes gets discarded, and it also uh, makes the, whatever uh, trash that you do have, uh, it's going to create less issues with, uh, you know, attracting rodents uh, or possibly people that, you know, see all this food being discarded uh, or smell the food being discarded or see the rodents running to the food. So it, it, it really, it solves a, a number of problems and, and reclaims a resource at the same time. Additionally, uh, these jars, once they're cleaned out, have a lot of usefulness as canning jars, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, but uh, certain jars, depending on the lid, uh, even if they're not, uh, you know, Perf, you know, quote unquote, you know, official mason jars, you can use them for canning. So I'm putting the last of it in there. And what I'll do is just add whatever water remains. And then throw in just a little bit of rice. And I pop that on the stove. And pretty soon I'll have a meal that utilized a lot of food that otherwise would have been discarded. And I also get these nice jars that I can use for canning. The only issue with them is that you can't spike them with uh, too much heat too quickly. You got to bring them up to temperature slowly, but they can definitely be used as canning jars. And I also get some food. And you see, I added some peas to it as well. Thanks for watching.